What are other ways that we can keep our tank filled? What are some key things that we should be doing? Well, and particularly with women, I think that uh, we talked about, again, how busy we are and how many choices we have to make and, you know, prioritizing and understanding that we can make choices. The choices are ours to make and learning to say no. And I know you and I have had conversations before about this, that it's difficult, there's so many pressures on this, and we feel that we want to do the right thing, we want to participate, but we need to prioritize. And it's not okay. You should refuse to keep score at the track meet if that means that you will have to be up to midnight finishing a report that you need for work. Mm -hmm. You know, which is more important yeah. here? So think of yourself and your health and prioritizing and learn to say no to things that will not make a difference making time for you. It sounds easy, but that's a, a little... At least once a week, find. at least once a week, everybody should find time for them. It, whether it's, you know, you like crafts and you like to make quilts or you're, you're gardening, you like to sing in the choir, um, you like to read a book, you like to go out and shoot hoops, whatever it is that gives you pleasure, at least once a week, you should reward yourself with doing that because otherwise then we get in the martyr syndrome saying that I do for everybody else and nobody cares for what I do and there's mm -hmm. this mental picture that goes on and, and tranquility of the, of the mind is one of the best things to keep your good health. So you need to do that for yourself. Studies have also shown though that when you do make time for yourself, it does release, release those endorphins that make us feel better and fights off depression. Yeah, and I could add to that. I encourage you, if you keep a day timer like a scheduler, schedule that in so that you can't allow anything else to uh, to get in that way. And if someone says, hey, can we meet for coffee at two o'clock and you were planning to do that time for you thing? Nope, I'm busy. I'm, I'm already tied up that day so that you don't lose that opportunity. Right, because it will, it'll, it'll leave the schedule very quickly. And so you have to plan ahead and you have to know what your answer is going to be. Just like we used to train our kids is just say no if they offer you drugs, you know, yeah. just say no. My parents won't, you know, don't allow me to do that. I'll be in so much trouble. <laughs> well, you're going to be so much trouble if you don't allow yourself the time to do something that you enjoy every week. Uh, all right, we're about out of time, but a couple more suggestions on ways that we can keep ourselves moving so we are less frazzled in life. I think one of the big things is unplugging. And we are a society, again, that moved into plugging. We have all of these gadgets that mm -hmm. we plug into, uh, our telephones and our emails and our Gmails and searching the web and Twitter and Facebook. I think that if you would every day take time, particularly maybe at the end of the day before you go to bed, to calm down and unplug, you're not going to check any device you're not going to be that. You're going to, you're going to fast from, mm -hmm. from all of the internet and all the technology. And technology fast, one hour before bedtime every day, will increase your energy and allow you to get a deeper and better sleep if we just practice to do that. Your Amish patients don't have this problem. They do not. <laughs> <laughs> they do not. No, they are, they're, they're understanding some calmness yes. that our society does not have. And finally, um, well, two more. Keep your friends close and laugh. Laugh. And you combine those together. When you're with your friends, don't you laugh a lot more? <laughs> if you've looked up and you found, I, saw, I can't remember the last time I laughed, then you're too stressed. You know, you, are, you definitely need to have laughter every day. It's a, studies have shown that people have cured themselves from cancer by watching funny movies and laughing <laughs> so many hours a day every day. It does release endorphins. And then having friends, particularly women and men too, getting together on a regular basis with friends and again scheduling that in if we know that every Monday evening after work you're gonna stop and have some coffee with a friend you will find that your stress levels go down important information stress levels go down with not only just because you need to spend time with your friends but then you get to form that relationship so many things that God has designed in our lives to help keep our lives in balance such important information thank you Dr. Trudy for these important tips. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Jennifer. And as always, you can rewatch this or any of Dr. Trudy's health segments on our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com. Maybe you didn't get your notebook out this time to write down all the notes. You can pull that out again so that you can keep track of those things. You can find Dr. Trudy Peefer at Phoenix Wellness Center in Johnstown, Ohio. You can also find her online at www.phoenixwellness4u, the number four and the letter u.com.